As a student at the University of Miami, I had a great English professor, Larry Donovan, um, at the time that was there. And, and I, I'd always aspired to know more about classical music. I love classical music, and, but it, it, my taste is very idiosyncratic. It's just based on what I'm exposed to, because I don't have any training in music. And, and he, he was a writer and an artist. Uh, he's passed away. And, but he also knew so much about classical music. And I, I, I once said to him, I said, I said Professor, how, how in the world did you get to be so knowledgeable about classical music? And he said, I just listened to a lot of it. Right? <laughs> so, and it, it is one of those circumstances where, uh, you know, early on in my career, I realized that taste was very important, right? But how do you develop taste? You look more, you listen more, and you look more. And you expose yourself to things that are adventurous, even dangerous sometimes, so that you continue to evolve your taste and you surround yourself with people who know the difference between important work and work that's maybe still evolving. And I think that's unusual for a government department of cultural affairs to have a sensibility about taste. And that's not to say that we'll only fund really high-end art, but it's important to know who needs help with the evolution of their work and what we can do to bring that help to bear on their work.